Oh look, a bonus dose of reading room in your podcast feed this week because I'm contractually obliged to announce the release of a brand new Radiopedia Pelvis and Hip Injuries X-Ray Interpretation course. And so joining me now, in addition to my always hip co-host, Frank Gaylard, <laughs> it's the author of this new course himself, it's Andrew Murphy. Hello, and welcome to the reading room. Thanks for joining me, Dixon. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, we have a replacement. Oh, this is good. Are you suggesting that this is your reading room, Murph? Yeah. Are this we is your my guests? podcast. <laughs> Look, I know you have the pleasure of listening to and editing all our episodes and then placing them onto YouTube, but this seems like a little bit of a stretch taking over the podcast. You should be honoured just to get early access to this train wreck every week. (laughs) Well, like, so I get these sometimes a week or a day or two early and nothing brings me more joy than just when that guy at the coffee store asks me how I am, I just say, oh, I just caught the latest reading room. You'll catch it next week. It's a guilty treat. <laughs> that's all you uh, That's all you need to say these days, the reading room, and people just yeah, automatically yeah. know. Random people on the street just know what you're talking Especially about. Especially in the best cafes. They're always yeah. listening to it. Absolutely. They actually play it. They actually play it for the people in, in the cafe. <laughs> Background room. <laughs> and I tell them I've already heard it. I go, oh, I've heard this. So. Yeah, I edited it, baby. I edited it. Uh, how, how about you uh, tell us about this new pelvis and hip injuries course of yours? Do you like that? Smooth? This is the last... Smooth like Shenton's line. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last one of my um, appendicular skeletal courses. So I started making these in 2019, so before the pandemic. Mm-hmm. And this one hung over me for quite some time. And like Frank, I would set these aspirational goals and I'd contact you and say, I reckon I'm going to get this next one done <laughs> in June, only to start and realize I'll probably need another year. So pretty proud of this one. It's a learning pathway exploring the injuries of the hip and pelvis, focusing mainly on x-ray. Try to design it in a hierarchical way. So it starts with the fundamentals and then it increases in complexity. When I was designing it, I actually thought back to, uh, so when I was like a younger radiographer, I used to sit on all these trauma meetings every Tuesday with radiology, emergency, orthopedics and stuff. And they went through all the cases, traumas. And there was this German guy, he was this very prominent professor. It was Professor Michael Schutz. And he would talk about injuries as transmissions of forces rather than just like the injuries themselves. And he explained why the injury led to the outcome. And I actually got a lot out of those sessions. And it's something I try to emulate with these pathways. So actually, I don't think I've mentioned this on the podcast before, but I was at work the other day and I was rostered to the emergency department, which I'm not rostered there very often. And I was really, really grouchy, like disproportionately grouchy about life in general and how everything was not quite right and it was annoying me and how I can't believe I've got to do all this work. I and find it was just very hard to believe. I know, right? <laughs> Who knew? Anyway, I opened up a study and it was of a, of a young woman who'd fallen off a horse and the horse had then fallen on top of her and had fractured her pelvis really badly. And part of her symphysis pubis had been pushed out through her perineum. And the moment I saw that study, I was like, you know what? My day's okay. I'm okay. (laughs) Puts it all into perspective. (laughs) Puts it a little bit into perspective. When part of your pelvis has not been pushed out of your perineum, your day, it doesn't really matter what's happening to your day. Your day is pretty good. I don't really cover that on the pathway. Oh, well, you can always, <laughs> second edition, you can have that. These courses are great though, Murph. And the number of illustrations, even though you don't have an illustration of part of the pelvis pushed out of your perineum, that, they're fantastic. Do you do still do them all on Keynote? Uh, so I used to. I used to do a lot of the earlier stuff on Keynote. And then as I had a little bit more time to do it, I transitioned to Photoshop, which costs money. Uh, and the learning curve is a bit steeper, but it's better when you're trying to make the things a little bit more three-dimensional. And I found like trying to at least add depth to diagrams helps when you're looking at a two-dimensional x-ray. Yeah. Hey Murph, I don't, I don't want to tell you how to edit this, but when you do like just have some awesome illustrations of yours floating over as you, as you talk about that. <laughs> In the audio great. version. It's just going to have a horse galloping. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, and let me throw in a quick kind of recap here, Murph, this will be perfect your video as well so 
Hosted by Andrew Murphy, this course provides you with the essential knowledge needed to navigate a variety of injuries, a variety of injury pelvis. Oh, I've written it terribly. Like I planned this out and I wrote it wrong. Hosted (laughs) by Andrew Murphy, this course provides you with the essential knowledge needed to navigate a variety of injuries in the pelvis and hip region. Patterns in... No, all right. I, I give up. Murph, can you... I tried though. I think we've done a good job. (laughs) That's perfect. How about I just list these things that are written here? So it features audio and video teaching, over 100 annotated cases, 40 annotated image interpretation quizzes, and 25 multiple choice questions. English subtitles are provided along with a certificate and AMA PRA Category 1 credits. How's that? That's better. Yeah, that's... Well done, Dixon. That's perfect, Andrew. (laughs) I'm not going to edit that at all, actually. I'm going to leave all of that because I think people need to see that you are flawed sometimes. (laughs) (laughs) But um, I'm super pumped that we can offer the AMA PRA Category 1 credits TMs uh, for this course (laughs) and others. And being able to offer them so cheaply is actually a reason why I'm super proud to be part of this organisation. And because of the high quality of the uh, preparation and (laughs) podcasts that we create. And the respect you get from from Frank and I when when you join us on the podcast. No, it's good. (laughs) We went through and updated the um, the other lower limb pathways as well. So the knee and the foot and ankle also have AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits too. There was a lot of work involved in getting those ready. But when it came down to like the hard work, which is like the, the real finicky back end stuff, mm-hmm. I made sure I was working at the hospital. So Dixon <laughs> actually did the heavy lifting with that. And oh, did he? Yeah, yeah. it was a quite a stressful day at work. But I kept getting these messages from Dixon being like, I've just done this. I've just done that. I've just fixed this. And it really put things into perspective. It was my horse injury moment where I I saw, I saw Dixon struggling to do all the cut and pasting and the back end things. And I thought, man, my clinical job's pretty good. Yeah, that's right. But it also reinforced to me how important you are because when, when, when push came to shove and I had to do it all on my own, I was like, oh my gosh, this is a lot of work. It's a lot of cutting and pasting going on here to fix these courses. The other thing we've added is uh, progress tracking. Now you can see what you're up to with a little green tick. That's a lot of cutting and pasting there as well, isn't there, Dixon? Yeah, it's not always a green tick, is it? Because remember, we got the ability oh, to yes, make those right. ticks whatever color I like, so <laughs> the conference page looks nice and pretty that's with right. pink ticks and green ticks and <laughs> blue ticks and teal ticks. <laughs> anyway, have we banged on enough? Do you Murph? think is this going to be? Will this work? Are you happy? Is this going to push people towards maybe buying your courses? They should, because it actually is amazing. Does it need a goat as well? This episode. <laughs> <laughs> Frank's coats aren't really that relatable to me at all. <laughs> They're not relatable to anyone. That's the great thing about them. I don't think we should. I think we should just leave it for the main feed because I don't think we should encourage like one a week because I don't think it's like a no. good neural pathway for him to form. I know. If I was down to one a week, Murph, that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll probably start growing a goatee if we if we don't limit things. <laughs> That's a great idea. You should do that for the conference. Yes. Actually, we should raise, like, do something for charity or something. Get people to sponsor Gaylord growing a goatee. I had a beard briefly. I'm not doing a goatee. (laughs) (laughs) All right. We probably should wrap this one up. To borrow a phrase from Frank, dear listeners, please do head over to radiopedia.org slash courses to check out Murph's X-ray interpretation learning pathways for yourself and to register. They are awesome. He's put an amazing amount of work into them. And I did a lot of the the peer reviewing for it and I learned so much looking through them. So do please go and support him by buying a few of his courses and they are free in 125 low and middle income countries and for all access pass holders as well. Uh, Gaylard, you and I will be back with a regular episode next week. We will. Uh, Murph, do you want to perform the Stay Rad this week instead of Frank? Or, Or perhaps you and Gaylard could collaborate on a a two-part stay rad harmony. Okay, Frank, I think we should do this together on your count. Okay. (laughs) One, two, three. Stay Stay rad. rad. You didn't (laughs) harmonise, (laughs) Murph. This is going to tidy up a treat, this episode. (laughs) You might do some auto-tune on that, maybe. (laughs) All right. See you later, Murph. Thanks, Murph. See you, Dixon. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye.